Well, hello everybody again. Um, Uncle Rodis again with another one of the random shelf CD shelf picks of my collection um, for this week, and we'll get straight into it. Um, you can see I'm in the office today doing the video because um, Mrs. Rodis is at home and I can't use the lounge. So anyway, um, no background music, which is probably a good thing because last time they took my video off because of the music I was playing. Anyway, so. Mrs. has picked out these CDs off the shelf for us this week for our My Listening Pleasure and we'll start off with this one here Mr. Lightning Hopkins this here is a budget compilation I picked up from the warehouse from 1996 TKO Recorded, Records Limited um, made in Europe so it's one of those budget yeah very budget type things I mean we were picking these up for five bucks um, some good stuff I mean you can't go wrong with Lightning he's a great great fantastic blues voice great guitarist fantastic music um, I've got a few compilations of his floating around it'd be nice to actually pick some up on vinyl I did have some on vinyl once um, this one here is a recent purchase which I think I've probably already you know, already shown and it's been picked out of the random random here this is New Zealand hardcore compilation from 2010 um, yeah, very, very hardcore. It's, it's hard to, I mean, it's sort of like metal punk. It's it's very on the borderline. It's pretty thrashy, screamy, loud. Um, I mean, the, <laughs> the names of the bands: Entrails, Domestic Violence, Antagonist, AD, Die Alone, Shit Ripper. I mean they're pretty full on it, so yeah it's a pretty full on compilation. I've never heard of any of these bands, not totally not unfamiliar with it. Um, I've had it on my iPhone, on my, on, on my uh, smartphone playing on my New Zealand compilation collection, so um, it's been interesting listening, but yeah it's not for the faint of heart, believe me. Uh, next up is a classic, and this is a CD version of one of the very early, earliest punk albums that I ever owned. Um, my cousin actually had a copy of this on vinyl and he didn't really get into it. He was a big jam fan so he sold me his copy for a few bucks back in the day when I was only a teenager. A fantastic album and the Buzzcocks are playing here in March next year, um, the local gig, so I'm really looking forward to going and seeing them and that, that'll be fantastic. Um, Mrs. Rodis has managed to hit the Jimi Hendrix section again in my CD collection, so here's another one um, from the Hendrix um, estate, uh, South Satin Delta. This is actually a pretty cool compilation, I remember. Haven't listened to it for a while, uh, from 1997. This one here, back in the 60s again, United States of America. This is a pretty out there compilation. Um, I think they only ever released one album, so this is it, and then there's a bunch of bonus tracks. This was on Sunday's label from 19, uh, 2004 reissue. Um, pretty cool. Next up, Stevie Wonder. I'm sure we all know what this is. It's a great LP. Inner Visions from 1973. Next one is this one. This is the collected works of John Zorn's Painkiller. So it's got pretty much all of the uh, studio work and there's also a live album. There is some other Painkiller records that I have. Um, there's the 50th birthday celebration. There's also the latest one that was live in Europe. So Guts of a Virgin, Buried Secrets, Execution Ground, and Live in Osaka make up four CDs of the studio and live stuff that they did up until the last releases. The um, So the earlier stuff, the Guts of a Virgin and Buried Secrets is the, is the hardcore thrash jazz um, that they originally started out with but then they kind of moved into extended dubby type jams um, later on which is the execution ground. Um, so this is pretty pretty cool, pretty out there stuff too. 
again not for the faint of heart and she's managed to pick out one from my Sunra collection so this one here is one of the evidence releases from 1993 so we have two albums combined onto the CD Fate in a Pleasant Mood and When the Sun Comes Out hey listen to this last night this is on the headphones um, and it's just a really cool really cool couple of albums actually some really nice stuff Mr John Mayle <laughs> last <laughs> went right out of my head then so this is a quite late release from 2002 um I actually listen to this and I really don't really connect with it all that much to be honest it's it's you know he's not a strong singer John Mayall and, and it's all quite standard sort of blues for you um, and the finally from the uh, this week's shelf picks random shelf picks is this one here it's a contains reissue from 2000 and oh yeah from 2000 of a 1963 re-release Jazz in Paris series um, pure pure Mr. Blues Sonny Chris yeah so there was, there was an original album released in 1963 and this is the reissue as part of the thing yeah I, I picked these up these are pretty cheap to pick up and there's a lot of them are, there was a lot of them around for a while I don't know if they're still around I haven't had a look for a while some of the ones I picked up weren't particularly great. Hadn't had a listen to this one, but listened to it the other day, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Actually, it's it's great recording, and it's been sounds really good on the CD. I mean, I don't know what the vinyl would sound like um, compared to this, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty straight ahead sort of stuff. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing exper too experimental, but just a nice, lovely jazz album, and. Um, Finally, before I finish, just arrived in the mail this week. I picked this up. This is a New Zealand compilation of Flying Nun. It was originally a 2LP set. I think it was... I'm not sure. This is the 2011. I'm not sure when the compilation was originally released, to be honest. Um, Yeah, no, I'm not sure. Because there is a vinyl version of it available, um, I've seen on Discogs for quite a lot of money. But uh, I have had a listen to this. It's it's not really a best of. There's a, the, the, the selection of the songs from, although I know a lot of the bands, I didn't know a lot of the songs. So they've sort of picked on some bit more different stuff. But one thing is there's a play things a plaything song on here, which is so hard to find their music. So that's really cool. One of their better songs. Um, not that they've released a hell of a lot. Okay, so that's pretty much my lot. And up for another week. And uh, yeah, hope you're all well and having a great time in the festive season. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you.